you are awakening and learning to trust, learning to be in the next phase of who you are. And in order to do that, you have to understand this is not evil and fine tuning. It's, you know, what would you say, Jen? What was one of the things that you did with fine tuning? Just healing out your fears? That was major because of group consciousness and the idea that what we don't see is supposed to be deathly terrifying. Well, that's what group conscious tells us, yes. Right, where Hollywood is really wanting to sell movie tickets. And guess what? The way to do that is to get you excited and get into it and oh, oh no. nah. Right? They ride, mm -hmm. they ride your adrenaline, right? Right, yeah. Well, once you start healing and realizing that this spiritual world is present with you and that you actually have these guides and ascended masters and the angels that just want to help you, that they're there to help guide you, um, then all of a sudden you can start, um, there's like little tingling sensations or sometimes I feel like you say put on the hat, there's, you You're know, intentionally hooking up. I'm intentionally doing that. Um, one of my new tell signs has kind of gone by the wayside, but every now and then it, it chimes in. It sounds like I have wind chimes. Um, on the other side. I have physical body aches and pains and it's like, ah, they want my attention. So the each body part represents life as clues that we look at in the world like a bug will fly by, flow by and it's like sticking out in your face. You're like, oh, wait a minute, that's a clue from spirit. Um, singing. Oh, good Lord. I'm, I'm walking by Jen today and a song pops in my head and, I, and then as soon as I passed her, the popped out and I go, what, what, what? Hold on. I walk past her again. Yep, the song popped back in. I said, Jen, you're not answering a phone call. And I says, let's see what the message is. And so then we looked up the word and, or song through YouTube, and it was says, the word up. <laughs> so she listened to it, saw the words, understood it. Oh, doggone. I really this wish this wasn't really choppy. I, I really swear. I don't know, maybe this will plug it in we don't have a caller so I could actually leave this in. Remember, if this is a choppy show today, thank God we got backup so you can listen, or not listen to it, not just listen, but visually see through YouTube. And it's not hard to uh, subscribe to our accounts. We have a couple of them. Yes, become a subscriber on YouTube. We love subscribers. And subscribers show us support that we are doing what we're supposed to be doing and we'll just keep ourselves going. Now... As far as all these different kind of tools, you know, eventually I probably will teach that. Now, the reason why we're supposed to bring more light to it, that's probably why we're going to sepianc.com, is to bring the lighter um, side to what is the paranormal? What is all this? And one of the things that flashed through my head was in group consciousness is, well, how can you trust an angel? It's probably the devil in disguise. That was one of the things oh. I grew up believing until... I healed that out and I realized that once I healed the fear and the illusion out, I ended up getting um, more accurate results because the, the, the fear itself was creating a wall and so I healed it out. Right, once I started telling um, some of my colleagues about um, going over to Sepi and the Paranormal Neck, be careful, don't get dragged down that dark path, and it's like, have you... Listen to one of our shows and realize that we are light workers, that we've done enough healing that um, we don't get sucked into the negativity. Right. Now, I notice that some people can't even hear us with a telephone, and so they've actually uh, hung up, and, they, and some people are just going to watch it on YouTube, which is fine. We kind of need you callers, but I don't know what else to do about this thing. How about if we just call in? So give me a second. Honey, where's my phone? Okay, so she says, My wall is fear from what I thought was a telepathic communication with a light being not of this planet. Ah, did you even get the chance to read that? Nope. You don't well, then the just here. read it. Let me have the phone. Okay, so they're asking you to reflect on what is unfolding. Um, your instinct, your instinct needs to shift in order to tap into the shaman um, or ancient healing gifts that you have. That was the card reading that I did. Um, they said loud and clear. So anything else with Kimberly? Any other questions? Because, uh, like I said, we just kind of lost everybody. Everybody just kind of gave up all at once. That was a sign for us. 
that said that sometimes we have to, in the moment, and this is one of the things Jen and I have been learning, is that on a spiritual practice, when we, what do you call it, when we're thrown off center and presented with a situation, it is the first reaction and then all the layers that you add on to it. You solve it, you cope, and then it pops back up. You solve it and cope. It pops back up. Solve it and cope. And it's we're learning to not have to go into the automatic reaction of, oh my God! We're learning to actually be able to take what we, how the tools to resolve it, and to apply it and let that be our first choice instead of going, oh my God! So, okay, what's going on? She just on? said, anything more would be great, but I really appreciate your assistance. Okay. Well, you know what? We're going to honor you because you didn't disappear. And we're <laughs> going to reestablish ourselves. She's been eating like a maniac. Okay. So, not right. being fulfilled. So, um, reevaluating what is nourishing at this point. Okay, what I need you to do, Jen, is to pick... Scott, you pick that. And then let's find out. It is the right and wrong. She spent, they're telling me because of this new frequency, not understanding the language of it, causes her to nourish herself. It's like when you feel like you're hungry, but all you are is thirsty. Okay? When this energy is present, what happens is that she has to redirect herself. Instead of going into a physical thing where you add more food, you're really going to be going, oh, wait a minute, that's a sign. Okay, and then that is where get a deck of cards, you know, like whatever healing or whatever cards you want to get, get a um, some chart, maybe, because you have to start creating a file system and you have to start creating definitions and words so that they can <clears throat> communicate in the language you know. Now, Scott grabbed a okay. card. I grabbed the card called the compass. As long as you orient your compass to true north, <laughs> direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. And you were just talking about That's funny. Like that. Can I just grab that one again? Oh, okay, it says you are entering uncharted territories right now and can expect wonderful new experiences. To stay on the highest path of your destiny, you'll need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or a higher power can serve this function. Money, property, prestige, romance, and other material achievements can't help you find your true path. They are simply things that you may experience along the journey. Know that spirit is working in your life, so even if you feel lost temporarily, it will be easy for you to find your way. Have faith and trust. For your compass with spirit is true north will ensure that you're never you'll never be lost, even in a starless night when all seems dark. Good. That sounds wonderful. And here's the thing, they don't because you're at such at the beginning and you're noticing these things, you can actually stop yourself from creating things to become habit, you know, so you won't be creating bad habits. That's why you have a soul coach. So they can show you that because they've been there, done that, and they can show you a way. And that's why you have several different type of soul coaches or coaches because then they can show you their their how they do it and so then literally you will get different perspectives and you'll line up to doing it in a healthier way instead of stumbling through grabbing bad habits along the way um, our friend used to talk about this when he was snowboarding he, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Did, he, did. he got a bad coach he got it. Well, he coached himself. Oh, that's and then when he went pay for it, <laughs> that's a bad coach. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when he went to go pay for it, the coach says you've learned a lot of bad habits. We need to recorrect. It doesn't mean you did wrong. It just means we need now to fine tune and to tweak you. And so then when he listened and took that direction, and that's where we have a manual for living. Is sometimes we need coaches. And we write our own manuals for a living ever since we're a kid, and that can really screw you up. That's why it's important that we actually have um, spiritual advisors, life coaches, soul coaches to help you so that you can allow yourself to stop denigrating and being mean to yourself, blame yourself. You'll actually go, oh, wait a minute, I was supposed to learn this so I know how to recover, so I know how to correct it. Oh, then that makes knowledge and that allows you to... Always make sure you do it better the next time because you did it. You've already know how to do it. You can do it again. So, so I got um, hydration, which is funny because you talked about water. Calling upon Archangel Raphael. So that's the Archangel that's all about healing for help. And then once you go through the the healing and and the meridian tapping and other type things, then you'll be able to start asking your body um, for messages and fine tuning what's going on. Right. Right. Yeah, and you're giving some good advice that I see you typing. How do you, how, how would you like to share that with um, the people? Well, you mean the people on YouTube won't be able to see what I'm typing? No. Right now, <laughs> as she let her finish this last sentence, is that um, she is helping by telling people about the YouTube, or 
our website that has the healing tools. So what did you suggest for this wonderful person? Okay, so on our website, which is www.mwreveal.com, look under healing tools. And then I suggested meridian tapping, listen to the phrases of fear, because this person is talking about fear and contacting the other side. That's a clue. You saw a pattern. Now heal it. And tap them, tap those messages out. Then also the thought management tool. So pick the people or voices from group consciousness that have given negative messages about the other side, about spirits, about angels, so everything like that. Use the thought management tool to kick those voices out. And to unlearn the learned behaviors. Go. And then uh, we've got a golden lasso, the Wonder Woman healing tool, so that you're going to be able to bring in healthy experiences and people. Very good. I like it very much. And she said, I'm working with somebody healing with NET, and I think it's accelerated all this. Oh my God, you're going to love NET. That's basically, I had come up with what I do, which is this Meridian tool. It's neural emotional technology. But what it was, was I came up with mine through Chinese medicine, Donna Eden, and then I was using, this is how I do my readings. This is how I communicate with the file system. And boy, what happened was then all of a sudden I bumped into this person that does an NET. And they go, well, where did you go? And how did you get it? And I looked at them like, what are you talking about? And they said, well, you're very pronounced in this. But with NET, you're not allowed to um, bring up the emotional aspect that I do. She says, well, how'd you get to do it? And I couldn't. And I said, still, what are you talking about? And she said, oh, well, I, I use NET in her practices. And I says, well, what is the net? And then she says, no, 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 it's not net, it's neural emotional technique. And then it was uh, developed by somebody, and I don't know who it was. And I'm like, wow, it's so group consciousness. I had tapped into what was already there, and, but I created as a tool to help me become um, more in tune to listening to the spirits, the guides, to the soul. Whereas they have really um, restrictions and they simply tell your body, they point to your body points, which I do too, um, and then you simply say, okay, what, where was this, a certain time, um, place, and then you go, the healing tool, the hope therapy, is, is, that's what it's called, is just simply like what NET is. Um, but I just, I allow you to realize you can heal yourself, and with a soul coach, I weed in and out, like Scott did yesterday, we were working on a specific issue, and remember, we're healing all the time. That's what makes us be resolved to evolve our soul. Mm -hmm. So he was working on something. Oh, I have to become just like my father type thing. And it's not that it's a bad thing. It's just that it was actually causing him to not grow. And we're like, huh, interesting. So I said, all right, let's look at this. And it pointed under the self-conscience of right and wrong. And so he's like, okay. And by asking him what his definition is, you know, he's like, well, this is what it is. We end up going through 15 layers. A soul coach will catch when the wording that simply starts out as one sentence, as you begin to heal, you start playing the dance of the soul, which means you're playing through the musical notes that are within the body that are holding you into when you interacted with the illusion of life. And when you re reacted and responded, what happened was that you, uh, you know, so how the soul comes up to the situation, and if it's not a negative response and it just plays and past it, your soul says, check, you've passed, we will not bring this up to you again. But if the situation appears and you get thrown off your center, then you've marked it. And then you have, then your soul keeps bringing it up. Not as an abuse. It's just saying, my number one job is to preserve the body. So I'm going to scan it. Oh, tell you your issue because see, you see the pattern. Not to abuse you, but for you to say, oh, I see it. Yes, I have life force. I'm over identifying with it. And it can be many avenues where you feel like the energy is coming, because everything's energy, it's coming at you or is an attacking. Or you feel like overpowering like a pimp. You, 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 you see it behind you, which is very fearful that you have to become paranoid.